Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at one really powerful new editing tool. I mean, it is so powerful that I thought I'd just better show it to you because it's one of these that you don't want to have to wait and discover, say, a year from now. And so when edit editing, you want all the tools you can have to make your objects. So just with the cube, we'll just go into edit mode here. And then maybe I'll subdivide this once. I'll get everything and subdivide here like this. All right. So... I'll go into uh, edge select like here. So I'll just grab an edge. So we can use all these common tools. I can grab it here, slide it along like this, you know, up and down like this. And, and this is normal, right? So, but there's this tool that if you just press G, normally you can press G followed by the axis, X, Y, or Z to move it on there. But if you press G again, so G, G essentially, when I move it, it's moving this across like this. You go, oh, well, that doesn't look like that big a deal. Okay, well, let me do GY, GY. And you go, oh, okay, that's no big deal, but we're not done yet. Now let me do it up here, G. And notice it has, when I just press G by itself, I can move it on numerous axes. If I press it again, then it constrains it to this one axis. Let me see, let me turn it sideways a little bit here. You can understand here in a minute how powerful it is. All right, I'll press GG, and then notice it comes up here, and then it's going to turn on its own along the next axis like this. All right, so it knows it, there's something really smart about this tool. All right, so now let's do something a little different. Now let's take this piece here. Let me see. Uh, let me see. There's Yeah, let's... Yeah, we'll just move this one like this. And notice when it, using it, it's really cool because it just kind of stops at this edge right here for me, or it stops at that edge, right? Versus if I press GY, it's going to just, you know, you have to kind of fight to find that particular edge. All right, so that's potent in and of itself. So it stops right there. So let's say I've stopped right here, and I've created these new odd-shaped surfaces like, you know, down here. So now let's go get our regular loop cut and slide with control R. And let's see where control R it is. Okay, so now control R gives us our loop cut and slide like this. And this is where the real power comes in, the way I'm subdiv gonna subdivide this whole area like this. So if by moving this along, notice how it doesn't align itself with the faces like this. It moves it just how norm how you would normally expect it but now what if I press GG in this area notice how it tapers in and it matches it up to these points right up to the end now if you start editing a lot and you run into a tool like this you know that this is a really really useful technique I mean it'll work for me for lots and lots of cool things so I just wanted to point it out okay I know it's not the most exciting of lessons but you know Every little bit helps you become a better Blender user, and this tool, I believe, is one of them that will really pay off down the road. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.